All right, it's been a second. I think it's only been two or three months since we talked about Ho'opili, but we're back again. You guys know I love this neighborhood. We own two condos here ourselves, and a lot has changed in just two months. So it's super important you get the updates on what's coming up next and how you can get in here. So let's start with the obvious. Right behind us, we're located in Nahele, which is a total of nine buildings in an entire city block here in Ho'opili. We're really close to the entrance, it's super convenient. And again, we have the rail literally right behind us. So people are really loving this area. But what do you need to know about Nahele? Well, know that it's going fast. Like they did a red TIG sale, all of those homes flew off the market. So we're down to about 15 to 20 actively available for first come first serve right now. But all that's left are the bigger ones really. It's a lot of three beds left, a lot of that higher price point. But if you're wanting a one or a two bedroom, or especially the two bedroom with a bonus room, those go the second that they come on the market. So that means you guys have to be prepared in advance with that pre-approval letter from those five banks that you can work with here, reminding you this is portfolio loan only at this time. So we're not doing VA loan here. We're not doing FHA loan, portfolio loan only with a minimum of five to 10% down. And I can walk you through those options if you guys are interested. But what do you need to know, knowing that the next building release is coming up anytime, like very, very soon, wink, wink, we need to be ready now. And knowing that the last two buildings, building two and building one will be coming up by the fall. So this whole block should be sold out by December, 2024, which is awesome. It means that demand stayed high. They're able to get these homes into homeowners. And it's just so cool to see how fast it has come. Like literally in the last month, all the buildings got their painting and now they're just finishing up interior work. And so the builder is on top of it, which has been great to see. If you guys have questions about Nahele, if you wanna know floor plans, if you wanna know price points, make sure that you email me with my email address, marina.tolentino at exprealty.com, and I'll get you those answers. All right, so let's dive into the nitty gritty on single families. Most of Kanalani and Ikenna are sold out if they're not already by this moment. We know that their last lottery releases went really fast. Kanalani was great, it's the traditional style home. Ikenna is more that mid-century style home all single family, identical floor plans, just different exteriors, went great. The Bluffs is completely sold out now. I'm closing one on Friday and that's the last one for my clients. And then I think there's two or three that are closing in the next two to three weeks. So it all be closed out by the end of June, which is super exciting. We know that those executive homes were highly desired and well-deserved so. But we don't know if there's gonna be more Bluffs, unfortunately, that's kind of on the TBD on the developer side. But we do know we're getting more single families, so don't fret. It's gonna be coming this summer or fall, but I think move-in will be more of Q3, Q4 for sure. So if you've been driving on the H1 and a lot of us get stuck in this Kunia traffic that starts every morning or heading back west, you'll notice there's a lot of dirt being moved around around H1 and that is preparing for single family homes. So right now, I mean, you guys know about Mamaka, which is our existing single families. They're on the small side. They're gonna be making more of those. And I just wanna make sure I get this right. Those are gonna be Molehu. So M-O-L-E-H-U, Molehu is the name. So we're talking, you know, 1100 to 1300 square feet. You've got the option of an enclosed two car garage or an open carport and three to four bedrooms. So price points on those before were around 850 to 900. I think by now, 2024, we're gonna be looking at 900 to 950 is a really accurate price point, maybe even down to 875. But with those, we've still seen increased demand. I actually love how close knit they are. So I have two clients in the Mamaka neighborhood right now, and they actually hang out with their community all the time. Like once a week, they'll come out with their picnic tables and their folding tables, and they actually barbecue together, which is super unique and cool and not something you're gonna see all over Hawaii. So that's a really unique factor. Because you're so close knit, you actually get to interact with your neighbors in those places. Now, if you're looking for a bigger single family and you're wanting more space, more yard, you got the option of Noho Papa. So that's gonna be just like your Ikenas and your Kanalanis, something we're already very familiar with the product, but just closer to the freeway. So that means easier access to commute, not like it's that hard anyways, it's really close already, but you're gonna get more inventory. So again, we don't have renderings yet, but we just know that's the model that they're styling after. So let's go into um, a couple of things that I have learned this week. So I always knew that DR Horton was amazing for our buyers. They do what they can to get us into homes. They give us discounts what they can, especially working with their in-house lender, DHI Mortgage. They're always trying to give back. So one of the ways they do that is with their Main Street Stars program. And this really helps our frontline workers. So if you're somebody that's in police, fire, um, you work at a hospital, if you're active duty or reserves or veteran, 
you get an additional $1,000 credit towards your closing costs, which is just a great gift that they give back for us. Now, if you're an educator, if you work in the schools, the colleges, universities, you name it, you can actually also apply for $2,500 per buyer. So I just had this happen this week. We were in the sales office reserving a Nahele unit and we're sitting down thinking that it's one per household, meaning just, just $2,500 for the couple. We were curious and we wanted to know, can we actually get two because they're both educators? So we leveled it up to the management, which leveled it up to the legal office, and we confirmed you can actually get $2,500 per buyer. So this couple was able to get their incentive with working with the lender, in addition to getting an extra $5,000 towards their closing costs. So in total, on a $400,000 unit, they're getting about $9,000 in closing costs covered, and additional to help buy down their interest rate or to prepay their HOA payments for a couple of months. I don't know, it was just so crazy. So we were jumping for joy in the office, saying hallelujah, like it was such a cool thing to learn. And then for first time home buyers, if you are someone that's like, I really wanna do this, but I need to work on my credit, or I'm just not as financially literate as I wanna be at this phase of my life, DR Horton also offers a home buyers program to help educate you about the path of home ownership to help you repair your credit or to build your credit. And it's just a really great partnership that you can join into. All right, to wrap this video up, what else is happening in the neighborhood, right? It's not just homes, there's a lot of other things. So we know Sage Creamery is officially in and open. We know the Manila Market is officially open and now serving hot dishes. So if you want Filipino plate lunch, you can easily go in there and get some stuff. But more additionally, we have a farmer's market coming to Festival Street very, very soon. I've actually been in talks with the new farm coordinator who's gonna really try to bring in some local businesses. So if that's you and you wanna get into the farmer's market, let me know and I can connect you with Taylor. And then in addition, we have this herb, right? This urban garden that is gonna be coming in the near future. We just don't know when. That's like the biggest thing. It's coming from the developer side. It's not HOA side yet. So we're really just hoping to find out more information. But if you guys wanna know, like what else is happening? What business are coming in? We have a dentist coming in. We have um, state farm insurance coming in. There's a lot of commercial spaces as you drive into Ho'opili that are starting to fill up these spaces. So the community is really coming together, which feels so awesome over the years. So just a reminder, if you guys are interested in new construction, what do you do, right? What are your action steps? Number one, you gotta let me know that you exist, right? You gotta say, hey Marina, I watched this video. I wanna know more information. Then number two, we're gonna work on your pre-approval. We're gonna really figure out what is your comfortable budget, not just what the bank says you can get, but what do we actually wanna pay a month? crunch those numbers for you, really help you feel confident about taking the next step. And in the meantime, we can also talk to the sales office anytime after you talk with me, just letting them know when you go in or you call them, hey, I'm working with Marina. You know, you just wanna make sure that you register yourself with me. Sometimes what happens just out of not knowing is someone will go into the office on a weekend, just out of curiosity, or I'm just looking, only to find out, oh, I actually really wanna buy this place. Now I'll call Marina and the office might say, hey, since you didn't register with Marina, unfortunately, she can't help you. And so they will actually draw the line there. So make sure if you're going into any new construction office that you have your agent's information handy, okay? And then biggest thing is I wanna hear from you guys. What do you wanna know about this area? What do you wanna know about buying in, in Hawaii or even selling? Now that we've been in Ho'opili for a couple of years, we're starting to see more and more resale homes. What questions do you have about the comps? If you have to rent it out, let me know what questions you have. I have a couple of clients we're doing rental comps for now that they're PCSing off island. There's lots and lots of options. And so the best way to do that is with an informed decision. So I will see you guys next week for another video. Thank you.